You may have a course that you finished developing in a Blackboard development shell and now need to copy it into an upcoming semester course shell, or you may have an old semester that you want to copy all your content from. Instead of coming in and going into each item one by one and clicking copy, let's take a look at how you can copy an entire course into a new shell. So we are going to copy this TLC 102 Basics of Astronomy into 112 Basics of Astronomy. So if we look in here, this course is completely empty. Now you can still copy into a shell that has items in it, but you'll end up with duplicate content items as well as potentially duplicate gradebook items. So that's something to note. So I'm going to open this up in a new tab so that we can see where we're working. So to do that, I'm going to go to this course's navigation item and I'm going to click new tab. And then we'll come back down and we'll find the 112, which is blank. And then back in this original tab, we will go back into 102. So we will scroll on down to packages and utilities and we'll twirl that open. And then we are going to select course copy. So we're going to select copy course into an existing course, and then we're going to come down here and browse that course. Now you have to be an instructor in both courses in order to do this. All right, so here's my 112 that I need to send all of my content into. Hit submit. And down here is all of the items we're going to copy. So I know that I want to copy the, the entire course, so I can hit select all. But you can select only the items that you want to send. But again, we want all of the content areas, all of the rules, all of the announcements, just everything. Discussions. Blackboard leaves these items unchecked by default, and I leave them that way as well since they are all items I need to change and update in the new shell. And again, I leave this as the default so everything moves over properly, and that we don't have student access issues to some of the content, the images, or the videos. And then I will hit submit. So now that we see it's a success, we just have to wait for all the content to copy. It could take 5, 10 minutes, maybe even an hour, depending on how busy the Blackboard servers are. You'll receive an email confirming when your course has completely copied. So it's been about five minutes and my course is completely copied over. We are now in the Teaching and Learning Center 112, Basics of Astronomy. So everything is now out of the Teaching and Learning Center 102. Um, so everything is here, but it never hurts to click through and just double check everything. And what you're going to want to do is make sure your gradebook looks okay. And you'll need to come down into the date management tool and reset your dates because if you're copying, especially from a previous semester that you've had students in, you're going to want to shift those things around. We'll go further into that in another video. That is how you copy Blackboard course content from one shell into another.